Welcome to the West Wing Week, your guide to everything that's happening at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. This week, President Obama focused on the situation in Libya, receiving secure communications from his national security team, while the first family visited Latin America, our neighbors bound to us by shared history, values, and interests. They made stops in Brazil, Chile, and El Salvador. That's March 18th to the 24th, or Oconus II, Mama Yuka. On Friday night, March 18th, the first family departed Andrews Air Force Base for the president's swing through Latin America to strengthen our relationship with our neighbors who are playing a growing role in our economic future and to renew our ties to longtime allies. On Saturday, March 19th, President Obama arrived in Brasilia, that nation's capital and a stunning example of modern architecture. His first stop was to the Palacio do Planalto, where he was welcomed by Brazilian President Dilma Rousseff with an official arrival ceremony. President Rousseff then showed the President and First Lady a special exhibit featuring the work of women Brazilian artists. Yeah, these are so these are all women artists? Yes. The two leaders then sat down to discuss a host of regional and global issues, including security, energy, and the indispensable partnership between the two largest economies and the two largest democracies in the Western Hemisphere. And Brazil is my first stop. This is no coincidence. The friendship between the people of the United States and Brazil spans nearly two centuries. President Obama and Rousseff then met with a group of Brazilian and American CEOs to discuss the important trade and economic relationship between our nations. Two-way trade between the U.S. and Brazil has doubled in the past decade to more than $80 billion in 2010. It was a theme the President built on later at a business summit held downtown. And for us, this is a job strategy. When our businesses send more products overseas, it supports the workers who make and sell those products. Now, I think most American businessmen who are here understand this. For every $1 billion in U.S. exports, we see 5,000 U.S. jobs. President Obama was also closely monitoring the situation in Libya, where Colonel Gaddafi continued his attacks on his own people. The president made a statement to inform the American public of our commitment to action alongside a broad coalition to enforce United Nations Security Council Resolution 1973. Today, I authorize the armed forces of the United States to begin a limited military action in Libya in support of an international effort to protect Libyan civilians. That action has now begun. Before leaving Brasilia, the president and first family joined President Rousseff at her house, bidding her farewell and taking time to meet her family before heading to Rio de Janeiro. He also got a chance to talk shop on Race at the Top. The state says, here's our plan to improve teachers, to lift up uh, war schools. Here's our plan to, to show progress. And so what happens is those plans are evaluated and we say, you know what, these three states, they have the best plan. On Sunday, March 20th, the first family was in Rio de Janeiro, the second largest and most iconic city in Brazil. They made their first stop at the city of God Favela, a well-known impoverished community in Rio. The first family got a chance to see some cultural performances, including capoeira, a traditional Brazilian martial art. The president, Malia, also kicked a soccer ball around with some local kids. <laughs> president Obama then went to the municipal theater in Sinlandia Square to deliver a speech to the Brazilian people, touching on the culture of diversity and tolerance that defines both our nations. But first, he boned up on his Portuguese. Alô, cidade maravilhosa. Perfect. We also believe that in nations as big and diverse as ours, shaped by generations of immigrants from every race and faith and background, democracy offers the best hope that every citizen is treated with dignity and respect, and that we can resolve our differences peacefully that we find strength in our diversity. Later that night, the first family made their final stop in Brazil, seeing the famous statue Christ the Redeemer that overlooks the city from the top of Corcovado Mountain. Okay, where are we? We're over there. That's where we are. 